how this came about, because I know most of you have seen it, I was doing uh, performance analysis. When we released the, the Sun Storage 7410, I wanted to print some basic numbers, streaming disk read, cached read, streaming disk write. I was performing the test of streaming disk write, and the numbers just weren't what I was hoping. I was expecting a particular rate of performance, and it was just a bit less. So I was poking around to try and figure out what, what had gone wrong. Uh, maybe a disk had died. Maybe a cable had fallen out. It was only doing single pathing rather than dual pathing. And I saw that latency was particularly high some of the time. I broke it down by disk, which you can do in analytics, and it told me that a single disk had bad latency. I was like, good, all right, fine. I've got a bad disk. I'm time to toss it out and replace it so I can do my right benchmark. Uh, as an aside, this is a problem we're starting to run into a fair bit where disks can exhibit bad latency but not give you soft errors. Uh, this is really frustrating. We'd prefer if a disk was going to perform badly, it'd give us an error so that we can, we can deallocate it from the ZFS pool and pull in a, a working spare. Um, so hopefully we'll talk to the vendors and try to get them to... I, I don't know what, why they're not sending errors. Obviously something's going wrong because the disk has started to respond very badly, but they're just not telling us that. Uh, we could be clever and try to write some dtrace that said, if the IO latency is 2x the standard deviation, it would be much easier if the vendor just gave us a soft error to say, yeah, I know I'm in hell. I'm giving you 50 millisecond reads rather than five. Um, and then CFS can do the right thing. So I had this issue. A disk was giving me bad latency. I go to yank it out and replace it. And as I take it out of the slide, I notice that it's missing one of the screws. Adam Leventhal had run into this before, where when you have a JBOD full of disks, disks spin fast, you've got fans in there, things vibrate. That's fine, they're designed to handle that. Um, part of that design is the disk drive brackets need all four screws to hold them in place. If they're loose or you're missing one, they can actually wiggle enough to cause a vibration issue. I thought, wow, this is really cool. Analytics has identified a disk, has identified a missing screw. This would make a great blog post. So I get my, ca I get my camera, I go back in, I, I, I put the drive back in with the missing screw, I reapply the workload, nothing. Everything works fine. It's like, no, no, please. I'll, this is the point that, where I want you to perform to, to replicate the um, issue because I really want to have a nice blog entry. You know, analytics identifies missing drive screw. It just wouldn't work. And so I was thinking about it and thought, well, maybe the, maybe the disk had shuffled into a funny location where it was more sensitive. So I put my finger in and I bumped it a little bit. Nothing. Uh, Fishworks is next to a bus stop where buses drive by and they're really loud. Maybe a bus drove by and shook it. So I'm kind of shaking the JBOD and, and, and patting it and trying to give it a bit of extra vibration. That didn't work. So maybe it's louder than that. Earlier that day, we had had the uh, alarm system in our server room go off. This is the alarm system that, that uh, puts gases in to contain fires, uh, the FM200. Uh, it, it had developed a situation where it had a system normal alarm I don't know why they programmed a system normal alarm, but, and it's really loud. Uh, of, of course, being a room full of engineers, uh, we have uh, such logical, we, we try to have such logical uh, conversations with the repairmen. Why does this have a system normal alarm? Anyway, that thing was really loud. So it's like, maybe it needs to be loud. Uh, that's when I got the idea of shouting at it, where I could shout at it to replicate the problem. Uh, so I shouted at it, I had a look at analytics, Hooray, I finally rattled that loose disk. Then I had another look and realized I'd rattled all the disks. <laughs> so I put the screws back in, made it, made it back into a normal JBOD, and I uh, shouted again just to be sure the, the, the latency was there. So I ran and grabbed Brian Cantrell and said, you've got to check this out. This is amazing. And when he saw it, he's like, that's it. Because I had the camera, because I, I thought I was going to take a few photos for a, uh, a loose, uh, a missing screw blog post. He's like, does that thing video? Let's do a video and stick it on, on, on YouTube right now. So we had it on YouTube in less than half an hour. 
and we thought this might be fun. We might get a, a, a thousand hits. Um, last time I saw it, we were at over half a million hits. And I think it's the most, most watched Sun video on YouTube. Uh, so, or anywhere. Or, in, or anywhere. Um, and it's completely by accident. No offense to people like Deirdre who work in, on Sun Video and work hard. Um, I just had, we just had the luckiest event of our life. So it's amusing. If you haven't seen the video, I'll play it up here um, in a moment. <laughs> 